Hello, my dear students. In this video presentation, I would like to share how you have to solve your biology paper in a proper manner and how to score center. In the biobotany paper, which you have to solve in one and a half hours, you have six chapters, which you have to study you know, all the six chapters in a meticulous manner. The first chapter, where you are going to study about uh, the taxonomy of angiosperms, you have uh, the compulsory question that is being asked in that. So you need to be thorough with that uh, five mark question that is asked in lesson number one. You have only a very few questions that can be narrowed down. Namely, you have uh, the salient features of ICBN, salient features of herbarium, and then you have the economic importance of all the four families. You need to be thorough in all this uh, compulsory five mark question that is asked in lesson number one. Lesson number one also has one 10 mark question where you have to study all the four families thoroughly. You would have studied these four families already in your practicals. The same you are going to apply in your theory also, provided you have to be thorough with the diagrams as well as the floral formula. Because in the 10 mark question, the first seven marks is given for the theory and the rest of the three marks are allotted for drawing the floral diagram, two marks, and one mark for writing the floral formula. Hence, it's very important that you concentrate in lesson number one thoroughly. Coming to lesson number two, we have, you know, you, the one ten mark question and the rest five marks and three marks in one words. The uh, ten mark question, if you want, you can attempt in that. Otherwise, you can go in for lesson number four and lesson number five. Lesson number three, you have to concentrate on your three marks and five marks and also one words. And lesson number four, where you have the plant biotechnology, you have one 10 mark appearing from that. And in that 10 mark question, it is so easy to solve that 10 mark question because you have only a handful of these uh, questions that can be asked in plant biotechnology. You have protoplasmic fusion, you have uh, the plant tissue culture method, application of the plant tissue uh, techniques. So these are the things that you can expect in lesson number four. Lesson number five has seven cycles. And all the seven cycles, my dear students, you have to write and religiously study because these seven, one among that, there is every likelihood that this can be asked. And therefore, you need to be thorough with all the seven cycles that are given in plant physiology. Moreover, you have five mark question that can be asked in that and that five marks is from the various uh, you know experiments that can be asked and so also you have the uh, various physiological aspects of uh, plant hormones which can be asked so if you are thorough with the uh, plant physiology you are sure to get that entire marks allotted for plant physiology the last lesson where you have the medicinally useful plants for solving the one words it's important that you make a tabular column of all the medicinally useful plants, especially the families, the economic important part, and what is its economic importance. We have to also, you know, study the medicinally useful microbes also in that. So in that one and a half hour paper that you are going to do, within one hour and ten minutes, you will surely be able to finish that part. And the rest of the thing that can be even used for revising this paper. You need to solve this paper in a separate main sheet and biozoology in separate main sheet. Don't mix up these two and write because it is valued by two different examiners. So never write botany in zoology or zoology in biobotany. Now coming to the biozoology section, which is another one and a half hour paper, you need to concentrate in the first lesson, namely human physiology, where you have you know, the full ten, uh, two 10 marks questions that are being asked. The two 10 mark questions are uh, divided like this. Uh, you divide that entire uh, human physiology into 10 parts. 1 to 5 is up to circulation and from coordination system up to reproduction is the next 5. So you will expect one question from the first part and one 10 mark question from the second part. So if you are thorough with the, these uh, two parts of human physiology, you are sure to get those two 10 marks right. So it's always important. Don't be scared about uh, human physiology. This is a, one of the very interesting topics that you can always do. 
and make sure that you can you know study this and uh, you can solve this to 10 mark question very easily especially when you are solving the 10 marks of human physiology i would also like to make a note that uh, there are two parts in one 10 mark question earlier it used to be one single question where they say uh, describe the mechanism of urine formation or describe the process of digestion in small intestine now you have two parts that can be asked in that question so you be thorough with that first part where it can be uh, for example digestion in stomach followed by the process the uh, disease associated with the uh, stomach so like peptic ulcer where you have to be thorough with the dis disorders also associated with that similarly so that two 10 marks if you are assured of getting that naturally you will be feeling more confident of solving the rest of the paper because 35 marks weightage is given for this first 92 pages of your textbook and therefore you make sure that you are thorough with human physiology this is the one of the most easiest topic that you can uh, you know think of in biology then the second topic where you are going to do microbiology microbiology you are going to concentrate on the various diseases whenever that five mark question is asked in that diseases you have to write about the, the causal organism, the symptoms that are associated with that. So make sure that you are doing it in that manner that you solve microbiology also, you know, very easily. Microbiology is a little tricky in the sense like you have to concentrate on your one words because one words you need to know about all those, uh, you know, causal organisms for various diseases caused by bacteria, viruses and protozoans. The third lesson is another very important lesson where you get the compulsory question from immunology. So in the third lesson, you have to be thorough with the commonly asked five mark question in lesson number three. For example, you have the structure of immunoglobulin that can be asked. You have the different types of grafting that can be asked. You have, you know, the various types of barriers that can be asked. So the, these kind of things you first be thorough and later on you go in for small small three mark question that can be associated together to make up one five mark question and therefore it is important that you first study all those questions that are usually asked and then you go in for the cl clubbed question that can be asked for you know the two three mark question that can be clubbed together for one five mark question so immunology is one topic where the compulsory five mark question is asked so students you be thorough with that uh, immunology section question number 31 in section c is the compulsory question so unlike other subjects where you do not know where the compulsory question comes from here the question comes from only lesson number three and it is uh, question number 31 that you have to really you know look for and see that you are solving that question in lesson number four you need to concentrate on this modern genetics where you are going to talk about various types of genetical disorders in the genetical disorders you need to write about what is the chromosome that is involved whether it is autosomal or whether it is sex related chromosome and that you have to mention and also about the symptoms that are pertaining to that particular disease so it is very important like whether it is albinism or sickle cell anemia or uh, any kind of a genetical disorder pertaining to modern genetics you need to know how you have to represent that okay so you need to know about how you are going to write about the uh, chromosome that is involved and the symptoms also associated with that in lesson number five in environmental science where you have a 10 mark question and no five mark only three mark and two one words you need to concentrate on the all the nine expected parts of the 10 mark question every part you divide that environmental science right from the population up to the last uh, aspect that you are going to you know concentrate on every question nine ten mark question you can narrow down in that so make sure that you are thorough with that and lesson number six where you're going to talk about applied biology in applied biology you divide them into two parts the first part is where you're going to talk about the livestock and livestock management and latter part where you're going to talk about the medical lab uh, techniques so you can expect one 10 mark either from the first part where you are talking about the livestock uh, the management or the next part where you're going to talk about the medical lab technologies in medical lab technologies if the question is very simple like for example question is pertaining to sphygmomanometer 
naturally there will be another associated question also from medical lab technology. If it is a little bigger question like about uh, ECG, the entire question is going to be pertaining about ECG. But always look for two parts in that particular question. In the last uh, lesson where you are going to talk about the theories of evolution, you have only, uh, you know, all the various laws that you have to be thorough with. The seawall right effect, the Hardy-Weinberg law, the laws pertaining to Lamarck, all those laws you have to be thorough. And in the five mark question on the theories, theories of evolution, you have to be thorough with the, the definition for species and what are the different types of species, the different mechanism of isolations and all that if you are thorough then you are able to solve that five mark question also. Now one small hint with regard to how you are going to study for this entire, you know, the last minute preparation. Make sure that you are thorough with all the differences that are given as a tabular column. You have to study all the tabular columns that are given because tabular column is one where you can score the entire marks as such. Whether it is a difference between C3 or C4, dark respiration and uh, light respiration, whatever it is. Difference between monocot stem and dicot stem, DNA and RNA, you have to be thorough with the differences that are given. Now, I would like to conclude my uh, video presentation by just giving you one small hint with regard to how you are going to make use of the 10 minutes of the reading uh, time that is given to you. Most of the children do not know how to use this 10 minutes. This 10 minutes is really a golden time that is given to you where you have to use that time for making up your mind as to what question you are going to write. The moment you take the question paper, turn over all the one word question, go to three mark question in biobotany and fix up what are the questions that you are going to write. And come to 5 mark and look for question number 25 which is compulsory which comes from lesson number 1 and make sure that you are, you are confident of writing that particular question. And uh, come down to 10 mark question and choose which question, 10 mark question which you are going to attempt. Whether it is from lesson number 1 or lesson number 5, whatever lesson number 4, you choose that question. So within that uh, 7 minutes you finish off botany and come to zoology. Similarly in zoology never see the one word question. Go through the 3 mark question, fix up what are the questions you are going to write and come to 5 mark question, look for question number 31 which is compulsory. Make sure that you are fixing up your mind as to how to solve that question and then come to 10 mark question and see which is the two physiology questions that are asked and if you are confident of writing that too, fine. If not, go in for environmental science what question is asked or in applied biology what question is asked. And if you are thorough with that, then you are just, you know, through with that. And after that, you know, you will, your time will be over and where you will be asked to fill up the answer books and all. So within that 10 minutes, now you have, you know, in your mind, what are the questions that you are going to write. Fix it up in your mind that question number 25 and question number 31 in biobotany and biozoology respectively are compulsory. And uh, make sure that you don't leave those particular questions because any other question other than this will not be entertained. So make sure that you are thorough with that. And all the best children, wish you all a great success.